Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report. In this video, we are talking about the prophetic word for the season of 2019 in this new year. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. If you're new here, I'm Winston Mayo. This is The Blessing Report, and let's get to the show. I, I wanna feel the change. Hello, welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for comedy and conviction, entertainment, and edification. I'm with Samuel, the regular Christian guy, and today we have a great video about the season of 2019, the year of 2019, and prophetic word um, just to set us off in the trajectory of what God is doing for the year. All right, so um, it's more free form than I usually do in my teaching videos. Um, so bear with me in the um, I give a prophecy and stuff. And so um, the like very boring stuff is um, this year is going to be a year of newness and a year of preparation, but everyone really hates those words because everyone uses that in church. So the prophetic word for 2019 is that this is the year that you will be a co-laborer with Christ. And uh, what that means, so um, the major focus I was getting from um, the year um, was crop rotation. And um, what this means in um, biblical terms, you can find it in Exodus um, and also in Leviticus, um, kind of like old practices, but spiritual principles um, transcend time. So that's important. But um, in crop rotation, um, you will have a minimum of cr um, two crops um, or leaning towards three or four. And what you will have, you will have um, one active crop if you have um, two, and then the resting crop would um, regain its nutrients, and then um, you'll rotate out, so it would be an off year. Um, so what this year is looking for us is that there is a um, process of preparation in um, seed sowing. So fun, um, foundational um, setup, like um, infancy stages um, with newness and building. And um, with this, you are having more of uh, accelerated seed sowing, planting, and watering. Um, as the focus because um, for 2018 we just came out of a very plenteous harvest year spiritually so if that's financially if that is spiritual giftings if that is opportunities and so on so if God has just brought us out of a harvest what we have is um, for some a rest year but uh, for others a planting year but um, don't confuse um, rest with immobility or inaction because um, even in our rest, um, in our waiting, God is working. And so um, with this sense, we just came out of a harvest year. Um, people, um, especially if you have the office of a prophet or if you're just prophetic, uh, felt the shift um, going into this new season because um, our like a like Western calendar comes from like the Romans and the Roman Catholic um, Church um, being 12 years, but like spiritual principles and biblical principles um, stem more from the Christian and Jewish calendar. So the shift actually took place in like August, September, October, and people, um, especially if you're like a body type, um, felt like a shift happening, and if you're like a mind type, like thought there's something coming or emotionally um, as in like a heart type um, felt that. All right, so what does this mean to be a co-laborer with Christ? Um, number one, you will need to go where you are graced and where you are fruitful, all right? And uh, what does that mean? That means that you cannot, like literally, you cannot sustain yourself doing old things that you have missed out on or what you've been putting off from God um, if you are not graced to do it. And um, the importance of um, strategy, 
diligence and attentiveness to God and what he is saying in this current time is the utmost and like highest thing. And so um, just to give you all like a practical example, um, me and my channel, um, where I am Grace, I make three types of videos, comedy videos, um, music review videos and teaching videos. For a long time I've been trying to do the comedy, um, it's hit or miss, the music it's hit or miss, but my teaching videos like this and prophecy videos are very fruitful. So likewise, you need to um, analyze, look at um, things, see what areas are dead, and see what areas are fruitful and you are grace for, and God is giving you favor in that area and really focus on that area. And um, um, the second part of being a co-laborer with Christ is that um, God, is actually um, going to be giving like new opportunities, um, new levels of exaltation. And, and so if he is rising um, you in like responsibility and in influence and in gifting and ability, then what you had in the previous season that you were doing will not sustain you. And what that means is that um, if your prayer life, your Bible study, your silent solitude and stillness and your fasting do not increase in seeking wisdom from God, you will fail. And um, it says in um, James, cleanse your hands and clean yourself, O ye sinner. And what the Lord wants you to do to be a co-laborer, you are working in unison with him and his objective. And so what you're going to find is that um, natural ability is cool and um, worldly natural knowledge um, is okay, but the wisdom of God is going to be a quintessential, so essential. And so um, if you are moving um, in the arenas that you are currently at, um, your current gifting, your current anointing, your current knowledge, what you'll find is that you're going to get um, new relationships and you're not going to be able to steward them and then they're going to fail. You're going to have um, new like career and job opportunities without um, God's grace and then you'll get fired or let go. Or you'll have um, new opportunities uh, financially or just wisdom about um, directionally in ministry and then um, you won't sustain and then you will have more spiritual attack um, than you could have bargained for. It's like, oh, I've always prayed, fasted, Bible studied in this manner and I don't know why my prophecy is off. I don't know why my healing isn't um, the same because you're trying to do um, old strategies for new opponents, um, but we can't do that. And so what you're finding is that um, in seed sowing, you'll be reaping whatever is coming from that. And uh, I'm not like putting like a curse on anybody, but I am putting a warning that um, this is in both goodness, righteousness, and holiness, but also in sinfulness. So be aware, and remember my words are really directed for like Christians, um, that if you are in like active sin, um, like sexual sin, where you were like, oh, I'm getting away with this, do not be surprised that um, you might have a kid or you might catch a disease. Um, or if you are lying or stealing that crimes that you are getting away with or whatever, um, that you are actually reaping the consequences. So remember, consequences can have a good or bad connotation. If I eat healthy, my consequences are that I lose weight. That's, that's beneficial. And so holiness, righteousness, and um, godliness um, is going to be rewarded and favored exponentially, but also sinfulness um, will be um, rewarded <laughs> exponentially as well. And so um, just be aware that if you're lying or gossiping, that you're gonna get found out for things you weren't getting found out before. Um, 
And this is um, very uh, exciting that we are co-laborers with God because um, if we are implementing um, just the virtues and spiritual practice of um, contemplative prayer um, and just being aware that we need um, diligence, we need responsibility. This is one of the biggest like responsibility seasons and great stewardship over on um, these new things, especially when he's working in us spiritually as beings, then um, this will be more conducive and it will be more ease. But um, just be aware if you are more resistant um, and not be attentive like when God like wakes you up early, um, don't go back to sleep. Um, the Lord is actually doing something. Read, pray, um, and worship in those times because um, if you are not um, actively and intentionally being a co-laborer with God um, in this new things, um, he's going to yield this regardless. And what that means is that um, if you're prepared, um, you see the strategy coming, you can walk in alignment with God um, in hand in hand, or the Lord, um, through circumstances or just his sovereignty in his hand will extend himself um, to yield the product in you. So simply put, it's gonna happen regardless. Um, if you allow the Lord to make you in his image um, or consecrate you, or if you do not and you're resistant, um, we really wanna be on the side of um, willing vessel, vessels for the will of God rather than um, obliged um, participants. Um, so this will have more, much more freedom, much more joy, much more ease and um, less tension in us if we are um, just knowledgeable about that. All right, so practical steps for um, actually implementing this. Um, over here is gonna be a video about how to hear God's voice and um, the three spiritual principles for um, intimacy with God. So that is stillness, that is silence, and that is solitude. Um, so what you wanna do, um, five to 20 minutes a day, starting off, you can also increase the time as you're getting more comfortable, uh, find a chair. Um, sit in it, um, have your hands open, you can have them on your lap because you're going to get tired, have your eyes closed, and just sit in stillness, silence, and solitude by yourself um, with the Lord. And in the time you're not praying, you're not worshiping, you're not Bible studying, you're just focusing on being with God. Um, be aware of your breathing, um, have your feet on the ground, and um, just be aware of the emotions and the thoughts that come to mind and try to clear your head as best as possible. And so in this, um, you're actually gonna hear the voice very clearly. Um, be aware if you are a head type, you'll feel in your unhealthy self and your anxiety that God's not speaking. If you're a body type, it's gonna feel as if God is not moving. And then if you're a heart and emotion type, it's gonna feel like God is not there. These are all lies from the devil, so just be aware of that in the moment. Um, you're going to get better at this as it progresses, so um, just stay and be steadfast and still in it. <laughs> and um, after, um, write your findings in a journal. So all the emotions that came up, all the thoughts that came up, um, then move into prayer and worship and Bible study to address what the Lord has revealed to you. Because um, there will be things, certain focus, certain desires, certain wants um, that God will change in you. And that is your strategy. That is your trajectory. That is your direction. Um, so. That is my prophetic word for the year of 2019, that you will be a co-laborer with Christ in these new things and new strategies. So just be prepared that if you're playing like NBA, not NBA, <laughs> high school basketball, the level in which this new season of competition is the NBA, it's the NFL, it's the MLB, these are the pros. So you can't expect that your natural ability and current work ethic can bring you into a new glory and a new faith. All right, so that's my time, but let me hear from you. Um, what direction 
in the season and year of 2019 do you think the Lord is asking you to be a kill laborer in? So for me, um, I'm getting like new clients at my job, but also um, really focusing on teaching videos is where God is gracing me and where his glory and my focus should be. So in the comment section below, comment, where is the Lord taking you in 2019? Um, do the little um, contemplative prayer, <laughs> contemplative prayer, and um, come back and tell me. I want to know. And this video has been informative to you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and remember that there are new videos every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday at 7 p.m. Um, be gracious with me um, in my consistency or inconsistency. Um, I'm trying to be consistent. And connect with us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, um, and all social media platforms at The Blessing Report. And remember, everything important is in the description box below. So that's the Bible verses. Um, all the music I'm playing where to reach me. And this video has been sponsored by my new book, The Science of Salvation, Man for Manufacturing and Manipulating Faith. And if you want any um, like help, send me an email or whatever, any topics, really um, tell me topics y'all want to talk about. And um, like one of the biggest verses um, for this new season, I almost forgot, is um, two in the book of James that um, God gives wisdom liberally to those who ask. So just ask him for wisdom in this time. And also, um, it will be counted sin for those who know to do good and do not. Um, so that is the word about like responsibility um, and being grace. So thank you for watching. Um, be encouraged and it's gonna be amazing 2019. And remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.